YouTube how, how to life here. Just want to show you a couple of real quick shortcuts I found out. Um, I know I've been bombarding you with a lot of shortcut videos, but um, this is just ones that I picked out out of, out of a bunch of different things I found in research. So um, I just want to go through the list real quick. And uh, these are a little bit different than the other ones. Um, they show they're a little bit cooler than the other ones from my point of view. But um, yeah, we'll just get into it. Um, so the first one, um, it's kind of like, uh, you know how your apps or your desktop folders can be everywhere. And when you try to put them back together, they're, they'll be offline or whatever. So um, what this one does is you take, you press command and you hold command and move the folder, select one folder, hold command and move it and it automatically align it for you. And then do that with all the folders and it will automatically align it for all of them. So it looks nice and neat as you want it to. The next one, which I thought was one of the coolest things I've seen, um, it, you take control, option, command, and then eight, and it changes the whole color of the screen. And it'll stay like that until you change it back. And the way you change it back is you just you just press the same control, option, command, eight. But the thing that's weird about this one is uh, it will turn x-ray and everything. So I'll just do it right here. It'll turn x-ray, it'll turn like that and everything. But the problem is, is you can take a screenshot, you can take a video of your computer, and it actually will not show up on any of the camera apps or anything. So that's one of the weird things about this one is that you can you can do anything you want to. You can change it there. You can leave it there if you like it. You can change it back. But if you're, I already tried to take a screenshot. I, would, I already tried to film it. It wouldn't show up on the camera. So that's why I'm using an external camera. So then the next one, uh, you can take, you can do your, now do your sound in increments. And I'll show you what this mean, what I mean by this in a minute. But what you basically do is just shift option volume. So shift option and then move the volume up or down and it will allow you to move it in increments of four within each box. The next one, um, which I also thought was kind of cool, relating back to the other ones, um, it's kind of one that's been out there for a little while, but uh, what you do with this one is you hold shift, and then you press minimize, and it will do it in slow motion. I don't know what the real use of this is for, but I just thought it was kind of cool. And apparently you can hold shift and press it again, and it will come out in slow motion too. Again, I have no idea what the use of that was, but that was... That was just one of them I found. This next one, if you look in the uh, YouTube search bar here, um, you can do this anywhere where you can type text. All you have to do is press uh, Shift Option and then type whatever you want. And it will do all these weird, different, cool characters. Um, the only one I really, I really know what it actually is is uh, if you if you do that key and then press K. That's the only one that, which is the Apple sign. That's the only one I really know what it, the heck it is. But all the rest of them are just weird symbols and stuff. The last one for this video will be the uh, the Hide command. Um, what you do is you press Command H. And so whatever video or whatever uh, window you're in, you, it, will, it will automatically hide it for you. And it doesn't minimize it or anything. It just hides it for you so it's not there anymore. Um, but you still can bring it back. So like if you're in Safari, you just press the Safari. And it'll come right back. And uh, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, see you next time.